I want to explain this. The FBI, to their credit, you can look this up, it was in mainstream news, but Barry said there were no phone calls to the Solicitor General because it turned into a media investigation. The media did FOIA requests. And the FBI, I was surprised, released it and said, no, we checked his phone records. We checked that too. We didn't believe it. And uh, she didn't call him. Nobody called on their cell phones with all these government people who, who all had witnesses. Oh, I'm so sad about my wife. By the way, they landed Flight 93 at a military base hangar. That even came out in the news. People all saw it, people getting off, same tail numbers. They went, oh, just never mind that. Then something blows up over Pennsylvania. I mean, this all came out, folks. I don't know what's going on. I know in Operation Northwoods, 1961, LL Lemnitzer's plan to bomb D.C., bomb U.S. military bases, shoot people in movie theaters, commit bombings at public events with plastic explosives. <clears throat> Boston bombings coming up uh, the anniversary here in April. I think I'm going to send reporters up there. In fact, I don't think I'm doing it. I'm sending someone. We'll send Badandi, too. Uh, he did a great job, as the, and then we'll, we'll send a corruptor to help him. Uh, but um, long story short, just there's hundreds of pieces. None of them fit. The official story is fabricated from pillar to post, up one side and down the other. It's all a fraud. No one made the cell phone calls. They claimed there were over 15 of them. The only ones that were real were not one, but two, air phone calls by stewardesses with their credit cards, panicking, saying, someone's taking over the plane, they've got a bomb, and there's smoke, gas, gas, can't breathe. <coughs> That's the transcripts. That's what people said they heard, and those phone calls were made to family and to the airports. Is it two or is it three calls? I'm sure it was two. I know the names. One was an Asian lady. The point is, the point is, the point is, is that they nerve gassed them. It's clear. You got guys that think they're part of a drill to cover the fact that you have hijackers. They release a gas, remote control the aircraft in the building. And look, he found it. Bush announces new airline security measures, 927. So I guess this somehow got put weeks later into a transcript about it. But I saw Bush give this press conference and then grab him and tell him, shut up. It's a sensational video. Somebody's got to find it. I had it and it's lost in the myriad labyrinth. The president said the new security measures would also dramatically increase the number of plainclothes federal marshals on airplanes, give $500 million to develop enhanced cockpit security, and enable traffic controllers to take over a distressed aircraft and land it by remote control. Bingo. Remember, though, this doesn't exist. Remember, ladies and Oh, you found the video? You're, you're kidding. You found Bush. Oh, my God. This is going to be incredible. I haven't seen this in... Uh... And to provide greater security for travelers by bus and by train. This bill sets a one-year deadline for the transition to the new system. It gives my administration the flexibility we need to make that transition work. Ultimately, this bill offers local authorities the option to bring in outside experts a method that's worked well in Israel and Western Europe. Uh, this is a later those speech when he repeated it. Our rigorous new safety this is not in New York. Requirements. See, he's got the transportation secretary Security behind Security comes first. Panetta. The federal government will set high standards, and we will enforce them. These have been difficult days for Americans who fly and for American aviation. All right, we're going we're gonna to find that uh, queued up during the break. I got excited about it. They just threw it up. They're... they're They've got the transcript from C-SPAN. They're, they're trying to find the part in the video. The point is, is I said all this at the time, and the media made fun of me. It's like, he says there's automobiles have been invented in, in 2001. I'm like, yeah, automobiles are real. They're like, shut up, smart guy. So, so my point is about this uh, disappearance of the Malaysian airline. It could have been remote controlled. It could have been landed somewhere. Because in Operation Northwoods, getting back to that, they say, we'll put CIA people and their families on who don't mind having their identities changed. And we'll have one aircraft take off that lands somewhere else at a military base. Another will take off that's remote controlled and we'll blow it up. And we'll blame it uh, on the Cubans and basically start World War III. So that was part of the plan. So you don't, there was a bunch of tech people, a bunch of government people on. We don't know what happened. These two Iranian guys, 
look like deep cover paramilitary types who aren't meant to look like badasses but are. So I'll say that. The photo doesn't look good. Probably a hijacking. And it's a big ocean out there, folks. All right, we'll be right back. We are not here to scare you or fill your mind with images of terror. There's enough of that already. We are survivalbagsinc.com, a veteran-owned company. We specialize in survival supplies, bags, and packs. In most cases, our survival bags, loaded with emergency food, water, and supplies, ship out in 24 hours or less, and prices start as low as 60 bucks. Go to survivalbagsinc.com, and thank you for supporting a veteran-owned American business. Survivalbagsinc.com. Our mission is to help you survive. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Hi, this is Gary Cooper with Midas Resources, Gold and Silver. Government shutdown, inept politicians, entitlements, looming Obamacare. The death of the U.S. dollar as a global reserve currency is what nobody wants to acknowledge. We have a debt bubble that cannot be paid and will eventually crash the dollar. If you're concerned about keeping your money, why not consider storing your wealth in gold and silver? Call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130. Together we'll discuss your options of buying gold and silver. Again, the global elite have plans for your money and it doesn't include you. So call me. Gary Cooper at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130, and we'll discuss your options of buying precious metals. Also, I can send you information on how you can roll over your IRA or 401k into a precious metal IRA. Again, don't get caught with money in your account when the dollar crashes. Call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Crashing through the lies and disinformation. It's Alex Jones, only on the GCN Radio Network. General Richard Myers uh, was asked if there was a program to remote control a hijacked jet aircraft and land them. And he said, yeah, there's a classified program the U.S. and the Israelis have. Folks. All the Boeings going back 20 years ago, and most of the other big aircraft have remote control wireless computer hubs in the software. And I've, all the pilots know this. It's in the specs, just like it's in the specs that your TiVo and your digital cable boxes track everything you watch and create a database for 20 years.
It's been going on for at least 20 years since digital cable boxes. People still think that's a conspiracy. It's very childlike. Even until about five years ago, people would come to my house and see a Band-Aid over the camera on a computer and go, why do you cover that up? You think they're watching you? And even when it was in the news they're watching people, people still think it's weird to be informed. And it's so frustrating. So here's the uh, Air Force General talking to Congress on C-SPAN about remote controlling of aircraft. Because, see, if they can remote control them, they can nerve gas everybody and remote control them into the buildings. And all it takes is a very small group of people that have the codes to do it. And then the rest of the military thinks, hey, Mohammed Atta and all these guys got on the planes. They're taking part in the drill, which we know is going on. See how that works? Let's go to the clip. As you know, the Israeli Air Force has uh, exercised, practiced, and developed techniques for dealing with hijacked aircraft. It's 9-11 Commissioner John years. Lehman. Uh, for instance, they carry um, uh, special missiles that are not to destroy, uh, designed not to destroy airliners, but to force them to land. Uh, missiles with inert warheads and other uh, sophisticated gear. Uh, what have you guys done to uh, equip our uh, Air Guard and other NORAD uh, potentially assigned units with the training, uh, with the uh, 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 rules of engagement and the hardware that gives them an option uh, other than what we have now, which is just passengers. Uh, I'm aware of at least... Guys, let's go to the program. Why did the audio fail out, fade out right there? I'm totally confused right now. talk about it offline or provide you the... Uh, the back it up. Paper. Back it up. We're going to get this right. Talk about it offline. Hit pause. Back it up to the beginning of Myers. Okay, I, I, I'm not mad. I just I heard the audio fading down. I don't understand. Um, let's go ahead and try it again. Go ahead and plug the uh, missiles with inert warheads and other uh, sophisticated gear. Uh, what have you guys done to uh, equip our? Uh, Air Guard and other NORAD uh, potentially assigned units with the training, uh, with the uh, 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 rules of engagement and the hardware that gives them an option uh, other than what we have now, which is just to destroy the aircraft and all its passengers. Uh, I'm aware of at least one program uh, which is uh, classified so we can uh, either talk about it offline or provide you the, uh, the classified paper on it. Uh, there may be others to do exactly that. Okay, and people say, oh no, they're talking about missiles there. No, they're not. Here's Bush in PBS. Bush announces new security measures to enable air traffic controllers to take over a distressed aircraft and land it by remote control, okay? That's what the program is. That's what's going on. And every time I mention that, people try to conflate it with the missile comments, which just magically happened again. But we are watching the full Bush 30-minute speech to find in the transcript where that was said, and we may get it by the end of the show today. But we're going to see what happens with that. Now, I want to get your take uh, on the Malaysia situation. And what do you think is going on here? It is very interesting. Toll free number to join us, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. And we will get you up and on the air for first time callers. And we're talking about the Malaysia situation, not the IRS, not Ukraine. Just want to be clear, we're talking about the Malaysia aircraft, I want to hear what you have to say. I have a few ideas that I'm going to throw out there. Everybody loves a mystery, and it is a good brain teaser. Plus, a lot of folks may be dead or disappeared here, obviously. We know they're disappeared. Uh, speaking of Ukraine, the new arms race has begun. The new Cold War has begun. Uh, Poland wants to host more U.S. troops for security. Now that the George Soros-backed group has overthrown the Ukraine-elected government, uh, and now things are escalating again, I'm not saying Russia's perfect. The West is stirring this up. Quarterbacked by you know who. Uh, Kremlin critic seeks residency in Switzerland. Uh, Ukraine may have to go nuclear, says Kiev lawmaker. Now they want nukes or to bring nukes in. You see why Russia's concerned, folks? This is a big deal. Russian troops seize hospital, missile base in Ukraine, Crimea. Yeah, those are Russian built bases. Russia stares down UN pressure on Ukraine. Russia has refused to budge. From its seemingly imminent annexation of Crimea, defying Western pressure at the UN Security Council as Ukraine ousted president prepares to make his first public appearance in more than a week.
So we'll follow that, but I want to get your take on the situation with the aircraft. 800-259-9231. I'm Alex Jones. We're on the march.